Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Vibeman Y. So we are now on episode 298, so it's approaching. So if you haven't uh, done already on the whole uh, episode 300 video, make sure you comment. So far, it's pretty much looking like three different decks are going to be chosen. It's between uh, what, u Belt C's, u Belt Beat, and Super Vice u Bell. So, uh, you know, whichever one on that day that 300 goes up, you'll get two uh, Vibeman Y's that day, and you'll get the deck profile of whichever deck I've loaded up the most. And the thing is that I, I've been so busy with celebrating Vitamin Y 300 that I kind of forgot about um, uh, <laughs> Daily Duels going up to 400. So I was thinking about maybe doing like the exact same exact thing for Daily Duels, just doing a deck profile for whatever deck anybody chooses. All right. So uh, hopefully we won't have a good old fashioned stall out like last time. This last duel was just. Mm. All right. So we'll go ahead and start. Got Cyber. I got Malefic Cyber M. That's great. Now I just need a uh, Miles of the Bound Pound to Crown Crown Creator, and we can just get it started. That's all we need. We can get it started. Upstart. All right. Oh, I keep on hitting random things on my keyboard. Oh my God. Okay. You probably should have played them both, so I know. And say, so, then I could have just typed in two thousand instead of one thousand twice. So thanks for that. Unless you drew right into it, but it didn't sure didn't look like it. Oh, he's foolishing something. What's he, what are you sending? Oh, okay. It's this deck. So, summon plague spreader, make a double beals. Chain. Alright, well, uh, at least I have terror to stall out, but I'm about to get double beals. Because I know he has the plague spreader in his hand. So he's about to make double beals on my ass. Alright, it begins. <laughs> Alright, so here comes the double bills. You're just gonna go Melee Effect, Summon Plague Spreader, Beals, Melee Effect, Plague Spreader, Beals, 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 and I'll be like, fuck. Alright, so I pretty much I need to figure out a way to kill Summer Monk, okay. So you really didn't want me to stop your effect. Oh, I guess you don't want, want the one day piece. Alright, that's fine. Summon uh, Armageddon Knight, send Plague Spreader. One day piece. I haven't seen that card in such a long time. Oh, Dark Reffer. Oh, that was close. Okay. So he does want to neg himself. Oh, it's Neuralis. Ooh, okay. Neuralis and Beals. Okay. XC and 2. He is going so ham. Lava the Chain. L what? Lava the Chain, detach, and send another Plague Spreader? Then make a Beals? You want Phantom of Chaos on top of the deck. What does Neuralis read? You can send all cards. Then you draw one card. I wonder if I missed timing on that. I don't know. Did he attack? Oh, okay. I wasn't even paying attention. I was so busy reading. So clearly next turn I'm going to get Neuralis. And there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. Ugh, so I'm gonna get all my shit banished. I wonder if I missed timing. Let me go look up. Oh, hold on. Alright, I just wanted to look up if I would miss timing, but apparently I don't. So when he does Neuralis, I'll get Ultimate Nightmare, and then, yeah, then shit hits the fan. So what does Neuralis say? Uh, you can pay a thousand life points in all cards on the field in both players' hands to the graveyard, then you draw one card. I, th I still feel like I missed timing. I really do. I feel like I missed timing because of the then. Uh, um, would you bell miss timing because of Alice effect? That is the question. Right. Okay. Just wondering if you bell would miss timing because of nor 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 else effect. That's the question. Cause it's the if you didn't draw, then of course you know. But I think I missed timing because I think you you send all the cards. Then 
since the battle is not the last thing resolved in the chain because you draw a card, I miss timing. Yeah, I'd say I miss timing. Yeah, yeah, I would miss timing. Yes, I would. Great, so. Now I gotta figure out a way to get out of this situation. There's not much I can do, to tell you the truth. I'm just gonna summon Rabbit, and then when he uses his, uses his Neuralis effect, I'll just chain, and at least I'll have a Rabbit on the field. God, I hate Neuralis. Like, ugh. And then he'll make, and then he'll go off. Well, uh, I might have to admit defeat, actually. Yep, yep, I admit defeat. Because I already know what's going to happen. You're going to send everything, then make a bill, so. And then, yep. God, Neuralis is such an asshole. Like, whoever plays Neuralis is a fucking dick. Like, like you just don't want to fucking duel. And then, of course, the whole, like, the whole plague spreader and malicious thing. Like, oh, oh, we both don't really have a hand, but I have a hand. So... Yeah, I would definitely miss timing because you will have to be the last thing to resolve. So clearly, you wouldn't be because the draw. So was it fucking Exodia? What Exodia? What Exodia? Just put Exodia around. I typed it wrong. Fine, I will humor you about this. Better be entertaining. Want to be another fucking Neuralis deck, I swear. I'm not just gonna go in Saki shit. Alright, hidden memory. Still feel Saki. Open up like shit too. I'm tired of drawing terror all the time. Some other saki ass burn. It looks like a saki ass burn deck. I feel. I feel like that shuriken's gonna burn me to death. So, feel saki. We're just gonna have a sackathon. Is that what it's gonna be? A fucking sackathon. Oh, it isn't your turn. See, and this is the whole drawing shit. Yep. Oops. Oops. Yep. Fine. Well, I opened up like shit. Whatever. You know what? I don't even want to go get your Saki shit. You're just trying. To, you're clearly trying to do something Saki with all them attack blockers. You're clearly up to something, and I'm just not in the mood to watch you sit there and play with yourself. I'm sorry. I'm trying to win. I want to get one entertaining duel besides Neuralis and some burn shit. But that's what I get for probably doing unrated. But if I was doing rated, I'd probably go against Hat and Kleeput. I'm surprised I haven't gone against Kleeput yet. I'm really surprised that in Vitamin I have not gone against that fucking deck. I am shocked. You would think that I would totally be getting the, the Kleeput deck right now, but no, nope, so far, no one has used it against me. You too. Awesome. Well, at least I can pitch it to Special Summon Dark Griffer, so that works. Unless I get a Mound of the Bound Pound Town Krieger, it ain't looking that good. You, it's not. Alright, well, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it. Normal summon effect. Go ahead and send you bell. Deck then as much as possible right now. I'll go ahead and overlay into uh, King of Feral Limp. Where is he? There he is. King of the Feral Limp. Effect. Go ahead and detach and get me a Mass Chameleon because Mass Chameleon is awesome. Yep, so. At least that's a good thing about drawing multiple Malefic Cyber Ends and not being able to do much with them because I don't have the fill spell. When I get the fill spell, it's awesome and I get to go off, but when I don't, then it sucks and I can just eat a fat dick, apparently. Because, uh, DM. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and get your blue eyes stoned with Legion. I don't care. That's fine. Alright, I'm done. 
one of the reasons why I up Dark Greffer or Mountain is back to make sure that I send you Bell as quick as possible and make sure that Mountain is bound is ready. And just in case Malefic Cyber End, I can go ahead and pitch it because it is dark. Wow, the struggle must be real for you. Like, the struggle cannot possibly be that real. Can't possibly be that real. Like, summon nothing? Like, unless you're planning on just whipping my ass off and otk my ass. I'm just, just, not, just not seeing it. It's not seeing it, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't mind getting set up. So I'll go ahead and send Phantom of Chaos, and now I can go ahead and go into some Synchronic Sea plays, so I totally don't mind that. Unless he really wants to drop Gores. He must really want to drop Gores if that's the case. No back row. No monsters. The struggle cannot be that real. Is the struggle really that real? Gores? Wow. There you go. There's Gores. That's a Gores. Definitely Gores. Like, the struggle possibly can't be that real. If I were, if I was you, I would have took out took out the King of Prelim because you just left me plus off a of Mass Chameleon. Mass Chameleon, you want to let me plus Mass Chameleon? Like you cray cray. Mass Chameleon is the hot shit. So this is a twenty three token. All right. All right. So it's clearly he's going to be sinking for eight. That's fine. Sinking eight with a token. Took all that damage to the chin. I hope it was worth it. The token's level seven, right? Wow. Okay. So you want to sink with the Gores? I guess. Alright. Start off spark. That's fine. Uh thinking about probably much to make an out, but I gotta take out the token. You gonna turn the tank token to attack mode? Oh! Soul charge! Yep. Card's totally balanced. Just one? Just one? Okay. You gonna pay your thousand? Alright, there you go. What you going into now? Scrap Dragon. Okay. Scrap Spark combo. I haven't seen that in a while. Just because Beals replace Spark. So. I have a feeling he's probably going to target my face down, of course, because he's probably afraid of that. And then I'll go ahead and just chain and summon you Bell. You Bell will be destroyed and I'll get some Terror. And I totally don't mind summoning Terror. And he can't attack me, so that's good. So that means that my uh, Armageddon Knight will remain on the field. Actually, do I even want to summon you, Bell, at this time? That's the thing, because if I summon you, Bell, then I can't do the whole Mass Chameleon plays, which I might want to do. Spark and Armageddon. Sure. Go ahead and turn Spark. I was kind of anticlimactic, really. In fact, just make a one on one and take your ass. Ugh. I kind of want to keep the scrap dragon because I kind of want him to destroy one of more of my shit, so. Actually, you know what? Nope. I can just go ahead and uh, synchro summon into uh, uh, hot red and then blow him up and attack, so it doesn't even matter, so I'm going to go ahead and turn in defense mode, and I'm going to go ahead and sink 8. Hot red. Effect. Wipe it. You can go ahead and block one of them, but then I'm just going to go ahead and attack that one anyway, so you're going to lose your shit anyway. That's the reason why I turned you to defense. I mean, your defense is pretty good. 2,000 booty is pretty good. Work on itself, that's fine. And, uh, kill you. Take 500. That worked out 
that worked out. And that's the reason why I was, I was like, I don't want to, I don't really want to summon you, Bell. Even if he did just end up destroying my uh, Call of Dante, I probably wouldn't summon you, Bell. Upstart. Okay. Thanks for giving me a thousand life points. Now I can pay for Soul Chart. No. <laughs> uh. Yep, and he just admits defeat. Wow, that's, that, that was kind of anticlimactic. I don't got time. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Live and Wine. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. See you guys tomorrow with episode 299. Almost there. Almost nine. Play Glitch the Bell. And I guess episode 300 will be uh, the Bell Seas. And then I'll go ahead and tally up of which uh, deck got the most. And it will be the deck profile on the same day as the Bell Seas. Maybe it'll be the Bell Sea on the Bell Sea. I don't know. I'll have to find out. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Play Glitch the Bell. Thanks for watching.